So the Hamilton Tire Cats are in Guelph to take on the Calgary Stampeders on Saturday. I'm here with the Specs, Steve Milton. Steve, uh, this is an opportunity for the Tire Cats to beat an elite level team in the CFL, something they haven't done yet this year. Well, not really, unless you count BC as an elite level team. And I think by the time the Tire Cats played them, I think we'd stop counting BC as, as an elite team. But yes, you're right. And and to move above 500, and and to uh, sort of get that. Kent Austin's been telling his players, um, I don't think Kent tells us this, but the players certainly do, that the final six games are very, very important because that's when you, in this league, I think in all football leagues, you gain momentum into the into the playoffs. It's pretty clear that this team's going to make the playoffs. Uh, the big issue when Hamilton lost to Calgary uh, a few weeks ago was special teams. Uh, Larry Taylor burned them for uh, a number of big returns. Uh, Luka Kanji missed some field goals. That's been remedied to a certain extent, but uh, special teams should play a huge role in this game as well. I think, and, and the spectator story on Saturday states this, that, 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 that Larry Taylor, and, and therefore, when you reverse that, the Hamilton special teams, are probably he's probably the most important player in this game, at least on the opposition side, and, I, and therefore the ability to stop him becomes part of that. And to pin that team deep, as, as you pointed out in private conversations with me, you give Kevin Glenn a shorter field to work with. He's a much better quarterback than he is if you've got a long field to work with. And I think uh, you don't want that 20 and 30 yard difference in, in field position on every single possession and because that adds up to one thing, an L. Uh, this team's been uh, 500 at this point in the season several times over the last five years. Uh, 500's been sort of their the, the point with which the rock rolls back upon them. Uh, where is this team this year? Well, I think they've. Uh, the, I think what we've seen in this team is improvement, and and I think more market improvement, given that there've been younger players uh, than we we would say over the last three years. I I, I think the defense has improved a little more, uh, and and one of the reasons that they got got to six to six and six most of the last three or four years is that the delayed. Uh, development of the defense. Every year it's been the first four or five games. What the heck is this about? I think this one came a little uh, earlier and I think I like more what I'm seeing off that defense. That said, they've still got to get more pressure on that quarterback and when you flip it around, the offense has to protect Henry Burris more. This is going to head to something not good if they keep giving up four point whatever it is, five point three sacks per game and it's five per game the last three. This is when those number of sacks should be going down to one or two a game. You're going to get one or two with this team because Henry throws the ball a lot. Uh, make sure you check out Saturday Spectator for a full game preview as well as Steve's column reporting for the Hamilton Spectator. I'm Drew Edwards.